what's going on, man? It's your boy Uncle Demi, man, and I'm here with another banger, bro. I got a really, really another rare, rare, rare build here, man. So rare that I didn't even know it existed. Um, and when I made it, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is different. <laughs> um, your two-way mid-range specialist. Um, this right here definitely is, a, once again, this is going to be a build that is going to take a really good team around you. Um, but the cool thing is that this build can actually play as your center, right? So it can definitely be on the threes. It can definitely be on the fours. I mean, on the fours. Wreck. Um, it could be twos. It's going to be tough, but it can be twos. But this is the primary defending pie, pie chart, so you'll see that. So it's definitely playable, all right? So let's just hop right into the video, man. Let's go to the pie chart. Like I said, it's definitely going to be a shooting and it's going to be your defensive pie chart. At the top, I pick right here for your strength. So you want to have the most strength in your vert for this one. And you'll see why. Okay. So from here, you want to max out your layups and your standing down. All this is maxed out. All right. Then for your shooting, you want to max out your shooting. You want to max out your three point shot and then your post fadeaways. Okay. Now you're going to see what I'm talking about. Then your post moves you want to max out. All right. Now you're going to see what I'm talking about here. You want to max out your interior defense, your defensive rebound, your offensive rebound, right? Your blocks, your steals, and then the rest on your lateral quickness. All right. Now, perimeter defense and lateral quickness is something that is not going to be utilized because you're going to be playing as, like I said, like I said in the beginning, like a center. All right. Um, but... This build can dominate with the right lineup. You definitely can do post moves, right? And post fade, all right? Can shoot, right? Can do things around the basket, can get rebounds and play ball. You're gonna see why I like this build as I get to the next part here, all right? So let's go here. You want him 6'9", but then here you want to max is at 275. He's maxed out. So now his interior defense is 84 and he has 95 strength, all right? But it gets even better. Lower the wingspan all the way down to where now you have an 81 mid-range shot and a 78 three-pointer you hit 99 with this you get four attributes so now that goes to 85 and, and 83 right 83 3 and 85 and then your post fade will be 84 your post moves is 74 right so like i said <coughs> excuse me this will be really 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 good with a certain lineup if you play it the right way okay you definitely want this person to be the big, though, but he can guard down low. So in the twos court, you can play with this build on the twos court because you have 95 strength and if you use the right badges. You can do really, really well with this, right? But he's going to be a lot faster and quicker than your average center. And then he's also going to be able to shoot and help out. So then he can literally be the, the shooting guard on the threes court, right? You're going to have another big, and then he can play as that secondary player. Um, and then you have your point guard, right? He can be in the corner shooting threes, or he can be a cone at the wing playing. So like I said, he can do it all. It's, just, it's like I said, it's a solid build, and it's definitely usable and playable. Okay, so this is where, like I said again, what you want to do: sharp shooting takeover, post going takeover. I think it would be really, really cool. Right? If you're someone's like, hey, you know, I want to get rebounds and play defense, go ahead. But to me, I think going with the shooting, the spot up shooter would be the best. But the post up, like I said, if if, if Ronnie didn't lie to us, man. Just imagine playing threes with this, and then you say you're playing twos, you're like, all right, babe, I'm going to go and get this. And then you, all of a sudden, you become, like, you can have another lockdown with you, and then you can be, like, playing, like, this. But you know what? It didn't happen, so it is what it is. You got to pick one and stick with it. All right. Two-way mid-range specialist. And all these guys here definitely exemplify that. So, I, I, for once, I'm actually satisfied with all three they all play decent defense in some way shape or form they all can shoot from the mid-range really well so there's no way shape or form i'm actually going to agree, disagree 100 percent with this for once maybe i think it's like the twice um that i've done videos and i actually said all three were like oh yeah that's actually could be them all right so let's go to test the build out so of course you want to make sure you put this all at 99 all right and then here, again, this is based upon what you're doing, but I think back down Punisher and drop step is going to be important, right? And then, 
this is where I was torn between. So you want to get your contact finisher, right? So then maybe you can go here, right? You don't have a lot of badges, but if you think that you're going to be playing down low and you need to get that, then you know your game style. But I think these three are the important ones, all right? Um, next, pick and roller in Live City. If you do a lot of pick and rolls on the twos court, it just depends on how do you play. That's all it really depends on. Shooting badges, you definitely want to get your catch and shoot. And you definitely want to get your range extender. You want to put your quick draw here. Now, the next thing is, it either will be your corner specialist, if you're going to be staying in the corner a lot, or your hot zone hunter. Because, again, you're going to see me over and over again. Hot zone hunter is really big. You get your hot zones, you shoot them hot zones, you see a major difference, right? Um, <clears throat> if you play a lot of um, picking... Pick and rolls, you can do your pick and popper. Um, you can either drop this down and this down and then go hot zone hunter here. It's really what your preference is and how you play, all right? Your playmaking badges will probably either be break starter for your threes and then on the twos court, your, um, oops, your post spin technician. So those will be two there. Defensively, <clears throat> again, it's about how you play. You set brick walls, you want your intimidator, your rebound chaser, all right? And then from here, everything else is just up to you, right? If you're playing twos court, you maybe you want to get your moving truck up and then have your post move locked down. If you play threes, you know a lot of people in threes do not um, play uh, a lot of down low, ball, whatever. So then you can go to either clamps. Um, I love chase down artists. If you've seen any of my highlights, you know I love just to get those chase down blocks, all right? And then I love pogo stick also. <clears throat> I'm a jumper. <laughs> I'm a jumper. Um, rim protector is a good badge, but it's not what it you what it used to be. It just helps with blocking shots and getting your takeover. So, you know, I don't really use that badge, but um, maybe you like it, and hey, by all means, use it. All right. So there you have it, guys. A very rare build. A build that, like I said, is definitely a mid-level type player. Like it, you can play with this build and be competitive with it. Um, it's just going to take, like I said, the right type of lineup. But I always try to give you my insight. I just showed you what I think about if you were running twos with this person or you're running threes. Okay? But other than that, man, <clears throat> that's it for the video. Of course, please drop a like and subscribe to the videos. Please, please, please put a like emoji if you made this far in the video to let me know you watched it all the way through. I've always streamed on Twitch. I do that every single evening. If you want to watch me play competitively, I'm always on Twitch. Please subscribe and follow on the on my Twitch channel. The link's in the description. Um, <clears throat> what else? I know y'all been showing me mad love. Like I said, videos um, requests are flooding in, and I'm trying to keep up with all of them. And a lot of y'all, man, let me say this. A lot of y'all are telling me what builds you made and how unique it is, but you're not telling me how to make it. You got to tell me how to make it. You either got to hit me up on my um, on Twitter, which is Uncle Demi, or my Twitter to let me know and send me a screenshot of the, of, the, of the actual build and what pie chart is so I can make it. And if you send it to me, I'll shout you out in the video. But um, you can't, just can't tell me, hey, I made this build, and be like, all right, what am I going to do with that? All right, so let me so do that on Twitter. Just hit me up on Twitter and let me know. All right, but other than that, man, I really appreciate the love and support. Um, of course, as always, I'll be coming back really soon with another banger. I see you later. If he cough for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transform. I'm in my duck and dodging on the corner. Don't want flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell my set to get rich and go help.